Hey guys, what's up? This is Noxella, and I'm here with another video. So, right now, I've just got a heavy bowgun and some basic skills, nothing really special. Uh, this is the Nimble Snarf Heavy Bowgun, fully upgraded, and it's had its limiter removed. Got critical eye plus one and load up. And I'm going to do a test showing uh, that for tail cuts, all the damage that you contribute to the tail cut has to be cutting damage. Uh, there's been some dispute or debate over whether or not you need to deal completely cutting damage to get the cut, or if you need to get just the last hit uh, of the damage threshold to be cutting damage. Uh, sort of like how back in Freedom Unite there were some of the Elder Dragons that needed at least the point of dragon damage on the horns to break them. Um, so first off, I'm just going to be showing that slicing shot with bow guns can cut off tails. Uh, uh, this is a low and crest, mainly just to, to go through this quickly. Uh, I don't really want to go too much time. I'm not really doing this for any skills or showing off hard quests or anything, just demonstrating that uh, when you're cutting a tail, you do in fact need all cutting damage. So we're doing a Royal Lujoth. He's got a pretty easy tail to cut. Uh, it's not really too difficult to break off and he's fairly easy to fight. So I'm using Slicing Shot and this this shot is a little different from the typical shots like normal or pierce where it's more like crack shot uh, it has one initial hit where it embeds itself into the monster and I believe that hit does shot damage and then it'll explode and sort of scatter into a couple of slices and that's the that's the part of the shot that does cutting damage and so I'll be accumulating shots and we'll see that slicing shot does in fact cut off tails. Uh, nothing too special to say about this. Just some Lujoth. Just uh, Royal Lujoth. Uh, spinning around sometimes finishing shots but that's no big deal. We have plenty of shots, more than enough I imagine. Use 10 shots so far. Let's see how many more it takes to cut off that tail. If you also notice, uh, it's similar to crack shot, also, that you don't necessarily need to get the first hit off on the monster to get the rest of the hits. Um, Slicing shot and crack shot have a sort of explosive effect, so they hit in an area of effect. And oh, okay, there you go. There's the tail. Uh, I don't really care about fighting this, so I'm just going to abandon. Anyways, slicing shot has an area of effect, so as long as the monster's part is close enough, you'll still deal the cutting damage. Alright, this time let's actually go and demonstrate how uh, dealing any other type of damage won't be enough to get the tail cut, if even if you have the last hit being cutting damage. Uh, and I'm just eating for an attack buff to make the damage go just a little faster. Uh, hey, voucher. That's nice. Um... So this time I'm going to be going with normal 3. This bowgun loads a pretty hefty clip. I think it was something like 14 with load up and the limiter removed. Um, normal 3 is pretty much like the other normal shots. It shoots straight forward. You'll deal more damage the closer you are to the monster. Uh, it does have the added benefit of having a deflected shot. <clears throat> and the deflected shot is kind of like a pierce shot. Uh, the only thing is that you can't control which direction the pierce goes off in. 
in a second you'll see me start shooting the Ludroth and sometimes you'll see like a little arrow or some random small projectile fly off and that's the deflected pierce shot uh, it's more or less just like any other pierce shot as you'd expect it goes through the monster and it deals its damage uh, nothing too special to say about that and if you're sort of unfamiliar with bow guns and bows the standard shots like pellet, uh, normal, and pierce those do shot type damage which is separate from melee damage um, monsters have different defenses and stuff for shot type damage uh, and it's it's basically a third type of damage on top of impact and cutting damage and of course uh, you have all sorts of other damage types like elemental um, where elemental shots would deal a combination of both shot type damage and the specific element uh, though the shot type damage on elemental shots isn't as high as uh, say normal shot as you'd expect and as I mentioned earlier, Slicing Shot, I believe, has an initial um, shot type damage hit, and then the rest of the hit after the uh, the bullet explodes in the monster, that's all slicing damage. Uh, so far we've been loading up pretty hefty amount, normal 3, into the Ludras tail. <clears throat> we've gotten tons of flinches, and... Uh, if you've done enough tail cutting runs or just break runs, you'll notice that it, it, it's usually maybe like two or three flinches and then the next flinch usually results in the tail getting cut off. So right now Ludroth is limping away, that means we've done a ton of damage just on the tail as well as a couple of other parts, but that's not as significant. Uh, so now I'm switching over to Slicing Shot. And I'll be shooting the Ludroth with that for the rest of the fight. And here, once I get a shot off, you'll see that uh, the slicing damage actually doesn't cut off the tail. So you do, in fact, need to get all slicing damage on the tail in order to get the tail cut. And, yep, there you go. There's a slicing shot. Nothing happened. Uh, and I'll just continue shooting. Shooting the Ludroth, just to further demonstrate my point, like, that wasn't a fluke, uh, though I keep missing, whatever, um, there is an exception to the tail cutting rule, um, the two Durambros monsters, regular and rusted, those guys have a sort of tail cut, uh, but it doesn't necessarily act as your typical cut, uh, First you break it, kind of like Uragons, and then if you keep attacking it, it'll fall off again. However, uh, you don't actually need cutting damage for the tail to get cut off, just any type of damage, uh, and enough of it will eventually break off the Durambrose's tail. Alright, so Ludroth is going off to sleep, and I'm going to go follow suit. Maybe it'll fall asleep. You can get that special little th three or three times bonus, maybe, uh, on the slicing shot. Although I guess it wouldn't affect the slicing damage since the slicing, the cutting damage comes after the first shot. Whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, he's almost dead, so it's not too much longer, and we will have. No more Ludroth. And there you go. So, hope that cleared up some confusion that might have been out there. Um, basically, you want to have some sort of cutting damage uh, if you're going for a tail cut and it's not sufficient to just deal any other type of damage 
in hopes of getting the tail cut. Uh, so if you're a hunting horn user or hammer user, just stick to the head or some other part. Uh, don't worry about the tail. Similarly, if you're a bow gunner and you're not using slicing shot, or if you're a gun lance and you're using like wyvern fire or something like that, don't worry about the tail if you're trying to help out with the tail cut. Just leave that up to your blade masters with edge weapons or your bow gunner with slicing shot. Yep. See you later, Kayamba. And see you later, viewers. Don't forget to check out the Teamwork Cast channel. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.